Okay, turning off voice chat. I am live right now. Where is it? Okay, I'm blind. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I can't be here for Jane in 20 minutes. What? Okay. Finish. Okay, today we're hunt we're hunting out of dragons. This is a continuation of the last stream where we took down Nergigante. The title is wrong. If you're watching this, if you're watching this stream and you are a small child, please click off the video. The, this is rated T. If you are like a small I know. Also, you can't hear Cam anymore. That's uh, that's just something I had to do. Wait, what errors? No, it's not made for. Okay. Okay, there we go. Excuse me, I'm trying to pull chat up. I have, I have your chat up. I can see it. Alright, sorry if the stream suddenly cuts out. Uh, for some reason, my PlayStation refuses to stay connected 24-7. Switch recording stuff on Switch probably will be like it will probably run pretty smoothly though. Yeah. It'll probably a hundred percent smooth. I am fully aware that Nintendo Switch will run practically perfectly because because it is very rare that <laughs> that a game on Switch runs at sixty FPS. Well uh, don't also make sure you get a grounder. Whatever I can probably link you to it. 10 bucks or something you can get one off Amazon. It's to um, remove the static environment created by the Switch in its dock. It's like, if you get like a static sound in your recording, then you'll need one of those. Well, I plan to put my Switch on my desk so, so I don't have to scooch my desk out. You, you, the Switch has to be in the dock to record. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But unlike, but but even with the dock, the the Nintendo Switch is small enough of to where I can just place it on my desk. The PS4 is not. 
I'm not talking about like anything like this or anything. I'm talking about the wall though, like the way the dock, the switch is like in the dock and stuff can create a static environment, which might put a little bit static. I know what you're talking so. about. Yeah. I've already done my yeah. research. Yeah. He's a pretty, they're pretty cheap. You know, like ten bucks or something off Amazon. Okay, so I need to speak to the third fleet master, field team leader, and the huntsman. Yeah, they'll give you, they'll tell you about monsters, the Elder Dragon stuff. I don't know, you, you might have already collected enough tracks to already fight them. Maybe. But this is going to be a combination of a story episode and a grinding episode. It's not only story. It's just fighting monsters. The outer, the, the outer drink part doesn't really have story. It has a couple of like, cutscenes there are in this part, or just like the introduction cutscenes for the fight. You know, like monsters have. That's about it. Depends how much, you, depends how far, how much you want to do. Yeah, well, what I mean by both is uh, we need to get the tracks. So, because of that. We just do quests in the areas that I need to gather tracks for. Mm. I could have sworn traps did affect Elder Dragons. No, they don't. The only the only they stipulation do. was that right. uh, w was that trank bombs and trank ammo didn't. No tra traps. You can't trap an Elder Dragon, but I believe Rise of the First. I believe Rise of the First game actually there being an interaction between Elder Dragon and a trap. In Rise, you can actually use the traps to affect them. I believe that might have been the that might have been the first Monster Hunter that they did it in. Huh. What does the um? Oh, look like oh, that's cool. Like, to me, it, it, it just makes sense that you can't capture a Elder Dragon, but why wouldn't you be able to at least trap it? Yeah, they're just on a map. Yeah. Maybe in all the previous games, they were unaffected, or maybe... I already have all the tracks for the Rotten Veil. Vale. <laughs> it depends which one, because, like, I don't know if you got Chio, I don't know if you got Chiostras or Fushidoras. Already got, you already have uh, hawks. Uh, hawk. mm. Actually, see, I'm curious about something, so I can start planning ahead. How close am I to the end of Su Subnautica? I don't know where you... I don't know, I don't know the last thing you did. Preparing to enter the Lost River. Part. Yeah, like, probably, yeah, you're probably like, almost like halfway. Okay. A little halfway, a little past halfway. It's not, a, it's not a very long game. It's like a standard like 40, 40 to 50 years on hour game or something. Standard, I guess standard length game. Let me see if I can meld the specific jewel I need. No, I cannot. Well, what are you trying to man? Elemental jewels. I like, you don't have. Oh yeah, you probably don't have the ability to do that yet. I can meld. Uh, I can meld the jewels. I just. I. I just need the resources. Okay, so you just, you just need to do higher rank quests and get more jewels. Get more jewels and stuff. There and you trade the the convert them. Into okay. 
This game is wanting me to go back and forth between two separate areas. What? Third, third fleet master and the ecological survey leader captain, I think. Mm. Or was it the ecological chief? By the way, I didn't bring it up, but wiggle waggle indeed. No, you don't even know. You even know what, what I'm talking about when I say wiggle waggle. No, I, I like don't. It, it, it's just something I, um, I do when I'm, I'm looking at Zeno Jesus armor. Wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. I don't know why it was the first thing I did when I looked at it. A fluvium? What? What's a fluvium? Fluvium? What? Uh, fluvium? A monster clothed in a fluvium. No, it's it's a thing in the, it's like the stuff it's the red veil stuff. It's like the, the rotten veil stuff. Stuff from the rotten veil or whatever. The stuff that hurts you? I don't know. Maybe. Didn't really. I didn't really. Under, I, I, I didn't really pay attention either that much. So. Why am I yawning? I did nothing all day. Was trying to get myself fired up <laughs> all day, and so why am I tired? Do you think uh, we should do all three Outer Dragons towards the end of the stream at once, or do them throughout the stream? It's like the same thing. They're gonna take this duration between the two, depends what you wanna do. Should, should I look for tracks in the Ancient Forest and Wildspire Waste first? Like. No, what, while I'm looking through my equipment, I'm just gonna make a poll. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop. So you don't need to make a poll, just decide. Just make a decision yourself, you know, of what you want to do. It is, it's just you progressing, it's your progression. And which way you want to progress. Do you want to fly an Elder Dragon now, or do you want to get the rest of the tracks? I... I'm starting a poll because I don't care either way. <laughs> Wait. Excuse me. Would could I please be allowed to And that's not how Q and A's work. It's called engaging with viewers, dude. You should try it sometime. I mean, I, I, I do. And also, do you mean the viewers as, do you mean the viewers called me and you? That's the only two people who can chat, right? We're currently looking inside right now.
I just got a notification that I that, that, that I went live. So that's interesting. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, that notification's like 15 minutes late. Alright, so for the rest of the stream, uh... We could just try to upgrade existing gear. Since all the gear I need to upgrade is in Master Rank... Well, no, bah, not... High rank. Yeah, high rank. High rank. High rank. High rank, not Master. Oh, weird why your stuff would be there, huh? Oh. Might as well upgrade the weakest one first, Anjanath. Because I'm seeing yes on the poll. I need specifically the fangs right now, I believe. Let me double check. I'll probably re-upload these as videos, just cutting out all the... all the non-commentated waiting time. And all the time I spend in the smithy. I think that might be a good idea. Do you agree? Uh, maybe. Uh, I need Fusium ore to to upgrade my ice weapons. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, yeah, it's Okay, I need the Fang Plus, so aim for the head, I think. Let me review Hunter Notes. Yeah, yeah, if we break the tail, or make it drop a material, bullet, I'll get a, uh, Anjanath Fang. And it'll be good, as long as it's in the ancient forest or wild spire waste. I'm guessing by your rank that you finished the story. I already stated I did. I already I told you I fought I fought Zeno Zeno Jiva. See, I don't know what Zeno Jiva is. Boss well, monster. It's the boss monster of the game. This is a story. Yeah, I don't pay attention to Monster Hunter news. I I I, I never know who the flagship is. 
it remains a surprise for me. Flagship, the flagship is the poster monster. Nerja Goth has the flagship for world. I guess like Malzeno is the fl Malzeno is the flagship uh, for like Sunbreak stuff like that, like you know, flagships. I already. Oh, thanks, game. I oh. want to be, want to be here. I am right next to another base camp. Oh, I actually need those. I think it's right here. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like moving around. Yeah, like I spawned right next to a base camp. Yeah. Thing, yeah, the engine house is like directly, like almost, almost directly below you. Yeah, I know. I'm funny. Hi, Angie. I tried to dodge through the roar. Oh. I love it now because I like to carry both the Gilly Mantle and the uh, the Light Mantle. It's epic. I can both hide and glide. As a blade master, I am so used to, to constantly aiming for the head. Like, I am too used to that. No, that. I, I mean the tail. That's what I meant, the tail. So there's the track. Yeah, and I, I yeah, 
Unfortunately, while I'm trimming on PS4, I can't resolve the little issue where for some reason, my comments decide to duplicate. It doesn't matter, it's just, uh, you don't, I don't, I never really pay attention to that number. What are you doing, Ken? I am in the habit of ch of checking the comments the moment uh, the moment I see the comment number go up. I, I don't say the freaking shit that number. I usually just look over every so often and see if anyone said anything. So, CD, the problem is, unlike you, I actually do commentary. So I actually do have the luxury of uh, of. Responding mid gameplay. You know, I do that same thing, and it, I, I think it takes more skill to not die to a monster while typing to somebody. It really does. I need to sharpen. Apparently, it also drops an Anjanath thing whenever it drops a material, so. Not every time it has a chance to drop an Anjanath thing as a drop material. Uh, that's what the field guide said. Well, it says it says it can any kind of thing can drop can drop as a material drop material, like between multiple things. Like I believe one of the things that drops mo most of the time would be like a scale, or whatever, fur or whatever it is drops most of the time. Yeah, because I got over there, that material drop was a scale. Mine was a fang. Yeah. Which is all fine and good, since I need two of them. Yeah. It's not... This man's very angry at that wall. Antonath for me is honestly just kind of annoying to fight. Uh, I don't know. It's not that annoying. I, don't, I hate to fight. I don't like fighting him in, I didn't like fighting him in Rise. Mostly because of his, his height. My issue is they're no just too aggressive. Uh, why are you two not fighting each other? Like, Jesus. Like, that's my main issue with the an with the Anjanath. It's too aggressive, so I can never really get any good hits off, and it's just a waiting game until it eventually gets tired for me. And you wonder why I never use the clutch claw. Like, I don't like. Well, like, I use a clutch claw, but like I don't. I don't spam it as much as I do when I first start playing the game. 
I understand. It's more one of those things that it's a utility. It should be used at the proper time, it's not just stamina. I know. But here's my issue with that statement. You once told me in an earlier stream, I need to, I need to learn to use the clutch claw more. To learn how to use how with when you like learning how. To how do you to expect it. me to use it when you're always using it before I can? Be be faster. <laughs> Just be faster. How do you expect me to learn a mechanic that I can't use ha half the time? Because you're already using you're said mechanic. I mean, I'm not always. I mean, like you have been, like the like I didn't I didn't clutch call to its face that the last time it staggered. You could have done it. You had the chance and you didn't. It's because like if you still should try doing it. You just have to be fast. You just have to have faster reaction of when you can do it. At this point, I just I just don't use it for the sake of for the sake of I could instead use this time to get off a, a, a bunch of combos since I already know CD is gonna clutch claw. Hey, yeah, when you're playing by yourself, that's not what you do. That's what you should. That's what you shouldn't do. Seriously, because you're giving up the opportunity to smack the monster into the wall. Have more, even more time. Yes, have, uh, I got, I got the fangs. Yeah, well, fangs aren't that hard to get. Pretty easy. Not, not for me. Like they, they were absurdly difficult for for me to get in the past. The hunter's life for me. That's the trophy I just got. Can't remember what that's for, but I mean, that might be Zenny. That might be the Zenny one, or that's something else. I also. Oh, no, for me. I think it's hunting 50 monsters or something. The high rank or something. I forget. Yeah. Something with a monster. Probably a monster count. That's for. Dude, please stop. I'm I'm unmuted now by the way. Hey, uh I am so close to muting you just to stop the scratchy noise. I didn't even look at the materials because because you distracted me with with the noise. Okay, let's see. Upgrade it again. I need even more fangs, a Rathalos medulla, and a fire cell stone. Yes. You get everything you need for um you 
Um, let me see. Yeah, fire's like one of my weaker ones. Then I need to upgrade water. I need specifically the fins and the torrent sacks. Uh, I will be splitting off from you to kill some to kill some gajow because I need their whiskers. You don't have to tell me you're not going to be there. I don't pay attention whether or not the other hunters are there to begin with. It's the time. It's kind of the monster. I will say, during the Xeno Jiva fight, I had a concurrent of four people just staying, like, there were three people was walking there. None of them left. The duration of the fight. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody left during it. They kind of started. They kind of started leaving after the fight. A couple of them left. Like one or two left or something after the fight. But yeah. Did you know there's a sort of, there's an entire Witcher crossover? The entire Witcher quest. Wait. You play as the guy. Yeah. There's a Witcher three crossover where you play as the guy in the in the ancient forest. I was just like, oh, I'm not playing the Witcher now, huh? Yeah, I tried The Witcher once, uh, I rage quit. <laughs> no, based off what I played on The Witcher, based off what I played on The Witcher 3 crossover, I feel like The Witcher's here might be something I actually might like to play. I might, I might take a... Yeah, game. no, it's, uh, it's another Dark Souls-like game. Possibly. Based on what I, uh, based off, like, the way it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hot. So a thought just came to mind. If it was either for charity or somebody paid me a large sum of money, I would play through Dark Souls. <laughs> On stream. <laughs> but it has to either be you pay me a lot of money or it's for charity. Oh, hey, Jericho, just how you, how you doing? I'm here now, apparently. Hey, Jericho, I'm just here now. Um, I'll put this on. <laughs> I need some bones, too. I'm not taking a dinner. Viewers are not going to get what that joke is. <laughs> well, I mounted the monster. And I, mounted, and I didn't take the dinner first. I see your show up, huh? We can't all spawn directly in in front of the monster now. N now can we? That's I. No, that's your here. Now I'm gonna go back and cancel. I can get my supplies. Fuck. So <laughs> As soon as it inevitably runs away, I am going to hunt these small fry. What the? 
Okay, everyone on stream saw that, right? I'm not going crazy, right? What do happen? The go the god just what just kind of slid back into the water. Yeah. In the opposite direction, you would think, which goes against all known laws of physics. Yeah, no, you're playing Monster Hunter. I don't think you're playing it for the physics. True, true, true. Uh, Girotonus is another one of those annoying monsters that I don't think anybody likes fighting. I'll say in worlds, not so bad. Rise, fuck that. More annoying in Rise because the, the extra moves they gave it, it was like the armor, armor ability. An already kind of mobile monster got even more mobile. I think if you just add the wire bugs to world, uh, with the Girotodus current move move set, suddenly Girotodus really fun to fight because you can actually keep up with it. Well, we're doing way, so we already keep up with it. Yeah. But definitely not Rise's weapons. Give me points. That's a scale. Another, could I get a whisker? Please? Nope, just scales. Okay, there's a whisker. I need one more. I also haven't come across any Elder Dragon tracks yet. Hey, you'd be looking for some Teostras, and if we're not finding any, like, you should be finding them pretty good for then again, we all we have been in kind of we all really have you've only really been looking around been in the water areas, and Chiosto wouldn't wouldn't be in the water areas. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, them. I know how Teostro um, works. I remember him from Rise. I seriously doubt a giant lava monster, or or magma rock. It's, no, it's fire. I was thinking like. A combination of fire and blast. Yeah, that, yeah, th that is what he is. I think he's supposed to resemble magma rocks. No, that would be, be Donagama. Donagama's more like magma rock, because it lets you shoot through fire rocks. I mean, uh, I mean in regards to how they look. Uh oh. Not how they work. It's not really Magna Rocks, though. On the Nintendo Switch, they definitely looked like rocks. They, they, they weren't, though. They're like little clouds of, like, whatever, and then he sparks. They just spark and they explode.
I want to see if the God Jow re if there's God Jow over here. Yes, there are. There are. Oh, uh, hey, uh, I think we have a friend coming. We have a friend coming. Um, I don't know. I think I brought a friend with me. What friend? Uh, the Feral kind of like followed me. I thought monsters didn't follow you without special, w w w without special things. I I forgot what they're called. Uh, uh endemic life. They can follow you. Dang it! They follow you. They follow you. Give me a whisker. They don't really do that in lower rank. They didn't really do it in rise. But if you remember, if you remember, if you remember um, they can somewhat follow you in master rank and rise. They didn't do it in base right rise. I do not remember that. Probably because I was a noob back then and getting my butt handed to me. <laughs> there we go. That that's all the whiskers I needed. And the game taunts me by giving me a, a, a third whisker. Now, if I just get the fin, I'm good. Oh, basil geese, Jesus Christ! That basil geese always want to rain. All always wants to rain on your parade. Like I, it never happens to me. Specifically, you. No, it's not me. And I say you'll come to you'll come to hate those beasts whenever we go into master rank. I thought you said you you, you didn't play master rank. It doesn't rank. matter. It doesn't. Well, not. No, I I haven't done master rank, but I that's where it's gonna start becoming a lot more of a problem. It's like unlike Rise, he will show up if he's on the map. He will show up at some point. I got the fin. The old Tyler, oh, old Tyler is now available on the other versions of Rise. What? It's the 23rd or whatever. 4th or whatever. I don't remember because today, today, I think today or tomorrow or something, like all the title, all title, the rest of the title updates would be added to the other versions of Rise. Right. The only reason why I don't think instead I just get it Rise on PS4 and stream it is because I guess OBS wouldn't handle it at 60 FPS. Alright, Gerototus has been upgraded. I need more fins and a wyvern gem. 
but it did say I could craft a charm. I want to see if I still can. I can. I needed mainly low rank materials. How many more sentences? Yeah, I need low rank materials to make the charms. Uh, I'll do that off camera since we need to be in high rank. Yeah. Uh, since you've already got the dark cheesy part, we do need other Jerichotis to get some more offend or whatever. To get further upgrade, so we get two of the up, but we don't have to get them later. Where we get the wire, what we get wire and gems from. Then again, that's just gonna be hard to get your hands on, anyways. It's a gem. I think the main thing that'll stand in my way of upgrading my Anginath stuff would be getting a fire cell stone. Not really. They're not hard. They're honestly not that hard. Yeah, you just run around the um, out of the recess for a few minutes, and you can get a, you can get a couple. I'm saying that because I didn't know where where, where they were at first. Uh. Okay, so I spawned next to the monster. Job. Get over here! I don't. I. I, I don't need. I don't need your little minions' whiskers anymore. Uh, you could also go check the uh, the hard air areas for tracks. Be doing that. When it runs, okay? I spawned right next to it. Oh, that's right, I forgot to auto deploy the auto deploy it for me. Damn, it just literally goes away from me.
I'm So yeah, I've basically been playing. I've I've been playing Metopia while 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 I've been in my little depression rut. Yeah. So then I saw some comments and about about the switch port to Metopia. And there's some complaints about it that I just like to say why are these complaints? But why? What, what what are they complaining about? The horse. Uh you know how you know how the Switch version has has a horse? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the horse breaks the game in half if you know how to use it. Yeah. People said it makes the game too easy. Then don't use- you literally don't actually have to even use the horse. Yeah, I know. Because- and then people say, well, 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 what about the AI? They always use the horse. When you set out, albeit in the main story, you- you are not- now, Fully granted. In the main story, you you are not allowed to to remove the, to remove the, the 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 protagonist, aka the first me you you add to the game, which is supposed to be you. The thing is, you don't have to develop a relationship at all with the horse. You just don't put anyone in the stable. Not just that. Not just that. You you can still develop relationships with it. You can click the horse, and suddenly the horse is not with you. Look at those tracks. Like... Do you think the, the complaint, the horse is too, makes the game too easy is a valid complaint now? Making it too easy, then don't you? If it makes the game too easy, just don't use it. Like, do you know how many things Metopia gives you that allows a custom difficulty? The game, the even on the 3DS, the game, the base game is easy enough for you to beat it without e without using sprinkles and without using the safe spot. Granted, there are a couple exceptions. For example, you're basically required to use uh, to use shield sprinkles, but even then, they're not that overpowered. They prevent all damage for a single hit. But you only get five of them. Oh, well, five, five of them between some whatever. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, five of them for each level or boss. So in other words, you have to make them count. And one of the boss fights right before the final boss, it's it's designed to force you to waste your shield sprinkles. Either way, you could just not use the safe spot. You could just not use. You could just not use the. Uh, the sprinkles. Don't use the horse. You can even make it. It were were granted. You have to beat the game first, but your entire party is controlled by AI. You want to know what the best part is? There's a little button called Auto Battle. So you can even make the protagonist follow the AI. I'm sorry, but I just need to get that off my chest. Also, in Metopia, a lot of people strat over strategize it. 
until the post game, Metopia doesn't really have any actual challenge. Like, I'm gonna be honest, the game is not hard. Where is it going? Now, if we're talking the post game, that's another story. Now, granted, I never played the post. I, I, I haven't played through the post game yet on uh, on Switch, so I don't know if they made it easier or not. Like, I have no idea if they made it easier. But the post game is actually pretty hard. I think it's Neo Dark City. You basically do a boss rush where the bosses are powered up and actually pretty difficult. And then it ends with the Tower of Dread. The ultimate challenge Metopia has to offer. If you are not using cheese tactics, it, all this is actually pretty difficult. By cheese tactics, I mean safe spot abuse and elf abuse. So I'm not kidding when I say you can stun lock bosses by using the elf with dance and, and dancing arrow. So that's a funny little side detail. And I also looked at some tier lists because I was curious. Is it like, how do other people see the classes? I agree with most of their picks, except for this one website that placed the elf in the lowest tier. Excuse me, what? Uh, vamp vampire OP? Yes, the vampire is extremely OP. <laughs> All of their stats are higher than anyone else's in the game. Vampire Obama is OP. Just a vampire is OP, and it's really easy to get, and you can get it in the main story, too. <laughs> but the elf is just as overpowered as the as the vampire in the right hands. So, what this tier list said, Elf falls into the category of, of Jack of all trades, master of none. I think they were ta I think they were her judging it I think they were judging it based on if you had a computer controlling it Cuz CD do you want to know a fun little ability the uh, the elf has two of them to be precise Dancing Arrow and Forest Aegis. Oh, oh, are you still doing something? Yes. Anyway, Forest Aegis, it's a great ability because. So the Mage class has this ability called Barrier, where it halves all damage you take. Forest Aegis, put that on three pounds of steroids. Barrier costs about 18 MP to use. Forest Aegis does the exact same effect, except you can use it on every party member except for yourself, and it only costs three MP. Then we have Forest Aegis, which allows you, no, not Forest Aegis, Dancing Arrow, which you get to see a NPC use this earlier in the game. 
Did you hit the carpet? No. It cut. <laughs> it cut. It, it, it literally stopped me right I was, as I was going to carve it. I look at your screen and I see you walking up to the air toad. It's intended. Either way. Dancing arrow allows you to stun lock bosses. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, in Metopia, there is no such thing as a bad player-controlled class. There are best ones and there are worst ones. Every class is a good pick if the player is in control. For example, Flower is commonly considered like the worst class in the entire game. It's a bad mix between spellcaster and healer. What's the two workshop? In the hands of a player, it, it's decent. In the hands of an AI, you better not be relying on them to heal you, because they won't. They'll never heal you. They'll always instead opt for. I'm gonna attack! I know my party's about to die, but I'm gonna attack. But the elf, when in the hands of a player, is actually extremely powerful. CD, you should know just how good a jack of all trades is whenever you are playing a game where you can't control your own party members. Like. Oh, yeah. Sure. But when, when you're not in control of your own party members. Have you being a jack of all trades? Oh. Skin, I've been kidnapped. Bye. So I saw the, the ab because I went I went home and I saw the admiral there. Like, oh, why is the admiral here? I talked to him. He's taking me somewhere against my will. I don't know where I'm going. He's gonna help. Wait, what? He kidnapped me. He's gonna help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was like I was talking to him, and then bam, loading screen. Like, wait, where am I going? We got some news. Old pal Goldilocks is back. But either way, oh. I just uh, now I will say this: you don't need to do a meta in Metopia. As long as one of your AI partners is not the tank, every class is viable. Tank is still a good class. It keeps you alive and it and it can do a lot of damage in the later game. But then you have to consider the AI. The tank has a bunch of attacks that make your party members not like you. If the player is in control of the tank, um, yeah, you just don't use those attacks. The AI spams them, and I don't know why. Yeah. So to, so to all you watching and planning on playing Metopia or are playing it currently, for the love of God, don't make one of your AI a tank. You will live to regret it. But no, the elf is the last secret job you can get. And peep and this game site thought it was too much effort for what it was. I will admit, 
the elf in the hands of an AI is not the best. Because they won't use good tactics. Like, when they use for Stegis, they'll just fortify one person and they'll call it a day. Instead of spending time fortifying everybody. They won't try to stay on top of everyone's health and MP like you would. And I don't think they take even a moment to think about their current MP reserve. While I'm waiting for Cam to no longer be abducted, I'm gonna go search for tracks. Actually, hold up, Cam, have you ever played Metopia? Wait, what? Right, on an expedition. Oh, wait, you, oh, you left the online session? No, I disconnected. But the oh. stream is still up. Oh, mine is, yeah, it's disconnected. How do I see How to progress? But, uh, yeah. did you ever... Have you ever played Metopia? Yes. Okay, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm playing through the game again, but this time I'm doing a no horse run. Like, it makes sense, right? Possible. I will admit, though, the Switch version gives you way too many. way too many snacks. How much I could do? break go through giant. Like, they give you, like, way too many HP bananas and MP sweets. I do have to wonder, though... Will they ever make a Metopia 2 of sorts? I, I doubt, because I don't think there's really anything to continue it off of. Uh, because Metopia was really good for what it was. I won't say exactly what the plot twist is for spoiler purposes. But the game does not end once you beat the Dark Lord. Yeah, then the great sage gets kidnapped by the other than the, uh, you know, great sage Hadgar, as, as some say, as some would call it. You're away from, you're, you, you, you're away from the mic. I knew exactly what you were about to say. Yeah, it's the great sage Hadgar. But no. But no. If you if you at all like our like 
like games like even Persona, I'd say. It's not necessarily like Persona, but if you if you really liked Persona 3 for whatever reason, no, I don't judge. But uh you might actually like Mutopia. Honestly, Metopia, you become a glorified babysitter for a bunch of toddlers. It's tempered. But no, the game does not end once you defeat the Dark Lord. And it's unexpected because in a game like that, you'd expect it to be short and sweet, right? Like, short, sweet, maybe there's some post-game. Rainbow, like, new rainbow rewards. But then you have that little plot twist. And due to the nature of, of Metopia, you could even, if you have, if your imagination is big enough, All right, so I've you could come to the. So on that last quest we were doing together, um, I found a gold. I found like a golden track piece, and apparently there's an entire siege in this game. It's an entire limited time siege, and it only comes around every so often. <laughs> it's a siege. Seriously. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's like a C. I don't know. It says like I, I didn't. I did, I'm, I'm looking at. It never stated how many people are in the siege. All right, I have all the evidence for the, the wild spire waste. It's like two Again, this new siege encounter. I think we'll save the elder dragons for another stream. Because I'm getting tired, and I feel like they they deserve a stream all by themselves. Yeah, you could just go continue collect tracks. I'm kind of I kind of want to go look at. I kind of want to do the siege mainly because it's limited time and only it's only going to be here every so often. Okay. I want to go check out the siege. Begin siege, right? This is hell. They made they made an entire new whoa they made they made an entire new map for this. Jeez. Yeah, but no, but no. To people complaining that Metopia is too easy, give yourself some challenge. Like, there's multiple ways you can just make the game harder. Join this. No, question. Now, granted, in the I final battle, you are forced to use all ten party members, but. Here's my counter to that. Have you considered just over leveling your protagonist and keeping all the other party members at level one? And now suddenly they die in one hit and you fight all by yourself. Granted, you can't do that for the first two parts of it, but you can do that for the second. Uh, the, you, you can do it for the actual fight. Also, Metopia is not designed to be hard. Like, it never was. Uh, there's a Devil Joe in the New World. Yeah. Oh yeah, so he, I thought you, you still have gone this long without seeing a double Joe. I find that funny. Still haven't seen a double Joe. We're just now seeing double Joe. Well, I have been mainly doing... I have been do, mainly doing uh, just quests. And none in the ancient forest, surprisingly. I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but uh, we're gonna, cause it's a, it's labeled as a siege, meaning I probably would need more than just me to do this.
Are you hiding? There you hide. The base of these. Bagel. Let's see. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I might do a Subnautica stream tomorrow. I do need to actually get Tales of Arise working, though, if I'm being honest. Almost have enough. Oh, each area is a unique map, but each area is its own, like, a little arena. Devil Joe has engaged. What's with this music? Uh, like. I've never, I've never heard Monster Hunter have music like this. Why is it still chasing me? I ran halfway across the map before it started to give up. I'm so close. Yeah, leave me alone. Spirit Shroom Cap. And that's all the Elder Dragons unlocked. We'll actually get the quest for them. 
and then that'll be the end of the stream. This is a shorter stream because I'm tired. And if I fight all three Elder Dragons, I'm probably never going to get to bed. But no. I don't get people's... Com now, I can get why not being able to control your party members can be offsetting to people for Metopia. But I do... I do still recommend you at least give the game a try. Who's this? I interacted with a blue exclamation point. Oh, a devil, Joe. Jesus Christ, it took all my health. Not all my health, but Jesus Christ. around the map and shoot them into her. That makes that makes sense, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. You know, I kinda of understand. Alright, uh, I guess that'll be it for the stream. Okay. Next time, we'll, uh... We'll you know, hunt... I something I can't wait to do with people. Next time, we will hunt down the... These outer dragons. Till then.